So the classic uh, way we categorize these types of uh, infrastructures in the market is slow money and fast money, right? Yeah. Um, with the fast money guys, you've obviously seen hedge funds develop over the last 15 years. You've worked for quite a few of them. What changes have you seen with professional traders on the hedge fund side over the last 15 years? What, what's happening now relative to what happened in the past? Yeah, so now, you know, there's definitely um, a direction towards uh, AI and quantitative processes. Yeah. Everything is computer based. The environment has changed quite a bit in the 15 to 20 years that, that I've seen. Uh, you know, back in the day, the skill set mm. of the investment management team, I, I think, was a lot higher mm. um, because it was a lot more dependent upon the knowledge uh, on the individuals on, you know, at the firm. Now it has kind of progressed more into being, you know, a quantitative um, solution where you can basically just try to put everything in a neat little formula mm. and becoming more and more dependent upon algorithms and computers. Mm. So, you know, back in the day, I used to get orders from, you know, Mark Lowesco, Mark Mobius from at Franklin Templeton, you know, basically on a napkin. Mm. And, and, you know, these guys were just unique. Mm. Um, you know, some of the some of the old school guys are like that. But now, if you go now to get a job for a hedge fund, um, you know, as a fund manager, trader, it's it's all about your computer skills, programming. Mm. That's what it's all about. Like your investment knowledge, mm. and uh, you know, just the ability to find opportunities is basically almost non-existent. Mm. Now it's all about you know how what what how many languages can you program? What mm. your coding skills? Mm. Because we're going to create some, you know, some algos. So what that has done is that it has kind of created like a, a brain drain in a way that the skill set to get into investment management, you know, has has changed now. So now it's all about the programming. So the the also the pay scales have been reduced because of this. And yeah, so the so now you know you have a bunch of guys in the hedge fund, and they're not, you know necessarily that bright when it comes to finding investment opportunities but they might be really good at programming mm. you know C++ and you know coming up with you know, with algos and solutions mm. so it has shifted definitely shifted a lot towards um, a different skill set than what used to be required so in terms of a uh, time horizon I find that very very true to be the case on short time horizons as in the hourly windows, the the day, you know, over a, like a day or two, basically, mm -hmm. or maybe even a week. As you go out across weeks and months, the variables in terms of like quant and programming are so numerous that it's almost it's almost impossible right. to for to have you know some sort of programming algorithm or AI that can determine outcomes over longer time horizons. And the humans obviously still have a place on the professional side. Outside of that, the investment managers, the humans, are they as talented as they used to be? Well, no, because you can, I mean, you just look at returns now. And, you know, like you said, the, you know, the, the, bigger, the bigger firms with uh, giant asset sizes, mm. you know, they by, by default need to have a longer time horizon. But, you know, they don't take, as the risk that they take is completely different now. It's, it's skewed. Now it's all about how they would do versus a benchmark. And most of them I, I would do way worse than mm. the benchmark. Mm. So they make, they're like, all of them basically are classic indexers. Right. You know, that's what they are. They're, it's not about pursuing alpha anymore. Mm. It's about pursuing beta, you know, right. trying to find the, you know, it's all about relative performance. Um, and it's so you know you have a high fee fund um, that can barely keep up with the benchmark, hmm. and uh, you know so so the whole um, the whole the whole game I think has has changed a lot. So hmm. it kind of opens up opportunities for retail traders more hmm. Hmm. because now you know a lot of the knowledge and the education and information 
is available to retail traders now just as much as professional traders. Okay. So you can actually have you know retail traders that can have a huge advantage over professionals. You know, because you can move you can move faster. Uh, you're more flexible. You don't have a giant set of compliance hanging over your shoulders.